Um, I'm Eli Kaplan, and uh, I have ADHD. Well, I think, uh, okay, I'm not sure. I'm still getting tested. But it's kind of ironic because, you know, if you have ADHD, you have trouble remembering to do things, no sense of time, I was almost late, and uh, you have trouble following directions. And in order to see if you have ADHD, you have to remember to do a lot of things, you have to be on time, get to follow a lot of directions. <laughs> the process of getting the test, getting to the test, is the test itself. That's not really a joke. Okay, I started the process. <laughs> I, I started the process in January. Right? My test is on June 7th. So, it's terrible. And, um, wait. Sorry, uh, what are we talking about again? Uh, <laughs> uh, the audience. Bright light, just stand up comedy, yeah. Oh, uh, you forgot the joke. Uh, anyways, uh, does anyone else have a dad that's completely losing his mind and that you're convinced he's a robot? <laughs> uh, no, just me? Well, uh, if anything, like anything in a schedule changes, he'll just shut down, break down completely. Uh, and he schedules everything two weeks in advance. So it, it goes like this. Uh, what time is it? Oh, I gotta leave for work. Let's see. Gotta, well, I gotta pay my taxes according to the schedule, pay my mortgage, uh, invest in some stocks, and wait, what did that say? Oh, no. I had to pick up my daughter from school today, but, but I have a meeting at that time. What a, I already scheduled that. But beep, boop, bop, malfunctioning. <laughs> schedule, schedule broken. Another thing about him is that he wakes up every morning uh, at 4 a.m. And then he'll blame the dog. But <laughs> he wait, he's the one that wakes up the dog. So it's like this. Wow, what time was it? 4 a.m., ah, uh, you and your barking and barking, you're barking. <laughs> and another, another thing about him is that he's allergic to bananas. So, kind of crazy, right? Bananas, you don't hear that that often. It's less than 1% of the population. And it just so happens that that allergy is genetic. It passes down. I I'm allergic. It's not a fun thing to be allergic to. If I touch a banana, the inside, I'm fine with the peel for some reason. The inside of a banana, wherever I touch, it breaks out in hives. But if I swallow it, I need a breathing machine. My throat can swell up. It's really serious. So like banana split, banana pudding, uh, banana bread, banana, all a life or death situation. And the thing that sucks the most about this allergy is that no one believes you. <laughs> they all think it's some sort of silly joke. Every, at a restaurant, I, I could be like, hey, uh, excuse me, does this muffin have banana in it? Um, well, why do you ask? Uh, yeah, I'm allergic. Ah! Now that's a funny joke. Good one. Yeah, well, I'll put an extra banana. No, I'm allergic. Ah, good one. I've heard that before. They died. Uh... <laughs> Uh, another thing about me is that I'm ethnically Jewish, but I am not religious. No, no one in my family is, not at all. Um, I've never been to temple. I did not get a bar mitzvah. The only holiday I celebrate is Hanukkah, right? Bare minimum. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I am going to high school next year, and I'm enrolling in an all-Jewish high school. Yeah. So, it's gonna be a bit awkward because I know nothing about Jewish history. <laughs> nothing. Like, did you know that in Hebrew, when you read it, there aren't any vowels. No vowels, that whole alphabet is just consonants, no vowels. So, let's say, for example, banana. How you would read it? The letters, bet, nun, nun, hey. Bn. <laughs> Hi, I'm allergic to bn, you know? Uh, 
Yeah. It's a real, lots of allergy, you know, I can't have a bn split, can't have a bn pudding, no bn bread. Yeah. So, reading with no vowels is definitely going to be hard, but uh, I can always just pretend, I can always act, because I am an actor, I haven't mentioned that till now. Uh, I've been acting for seven years. Uh, I've been on HBO, ABC, Fox. I was almost in the Flash movie. I was their second choice. It sucks. The problem with acting is that if you're not an actor's parent, if you're like their grandparents, you don't understand because you're not really with them. So that applies to my grandparents. Anytime I see them, the first thing that they go to is, hey, Eli, how's acting going? Every time, since the, all seven years of my acting career, I have to be like, uh, yeah, you don't hear back if you don't get it. You only hear back if you get like a callback or you get the thing. And they're like, oh, well, did you hear back on Stranger Things? And I have to be like, no, no. I auditioned for like season two or whatever. They're all, they're all grown up now. Uh, it was a while ago. Oh, well, did you hear back on The Sopranos? No. I, a series been over for decades. I, I, I didn't even audition for that. Oh, well, what about Top Gun? I heard you audition for that. Yeah, it's, the movie's out. Um, I didn't know, you've, you've watched it, you watched it like five, five times, I think. Yeah, I'm not in it, though. You, you, you would know I'm not in it. You know, it's a good movie. It's a... I should have written in a role for you. For you, specifically, just for you. No, Grandpa, that's not how it works. Well, should have done it. Uh, grandparents. Well, anyways, um, I do have to go schedule a phone call to make an appointment to schedule a phone call to see if I have ADHD. Gotta get with that testing process, so. Uh, See you another time. I hate the American healthcare system. I'm Eli Kaplan. Thank you.